Mark your calendar folks, because as per all the latest reports, Apple will be hosting the iPhone 12 event on October 13. By the time you're watching this, the official invites for the event might be out as well. In this video, I will tell you 25 things that you need to know about the upcoming iPhone 12 lineup. So let me tell Hello ladies and lads, I'm your host Sufyan and welcome to Let Me Tech. As you guys probably already know that iOS 14 has been released to public. We already made a video covering 20 things that you need to know about iOS 14 including tips, tricks, secret features and hidden functionalities. You can find the video linked in the cards above or also in the description below. Our social media links are also provided in the description below or you can see them on screen. We share interesting tech news on our social media so if you want to stay updated definitely follow us there. Also if you are not a subscriber please do subscribe and hit the bell icon. This really helps our channel a lot. We have some amazing content coming up and it will be worth it. For now let's get started with iPhone 12. First of all let's talk about the new phones we are expecting this year. This year we won't have 3 but 4 new iPhones in the iPhone 12 lineup. Just like the iPhone 11 series, we will have iPhone 12, iPhone 12 Pro and iPhone 12 Pro Max. The exciting addition to this year's iPhone 12 lineup is the 5.4 inch iPhone 12 mini. Since it has been rumored, a lot of people are very excited about this device. If you are too, then do let us know in the comments below. As I already mentioned, iPhone 12 mini will have a 5.4 inch display. iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 Pro will have a 6.1 inch display and the iPhone 12 Pro Max will have a 6.7 inch display. There is a lot to talk about the displays of this year's iPhone 12 lineup and we will be doing that shortly in the video. For now, let's talk about the overall physical design of this year's iPhone 12 lineup. This year's iPhone will have a brand new boxy squared off design just like the iPad Pros and the good old iPhone 4. When it comes to the overall build quality, it will definitely be a premium phone with a metallic frame and glass on the front and back. Now before we start discussing the camera array on the back, let's talk about the colors. The Pro models will be available in 4 colors including silver, space grey, gold and a brand new blue color which will be replacing the midnight green. iPhone 12 mini and iPhone 12 will also be available in new colors. These new colors will be in line with the newly announced iPad Air colors. These will include white, black, product red, light blue, a new shade of orange and a vibrant purple color. Now let's talk about the camera array on the back of iPhone 12. iPhone 12 mini and iPhone 12 will have the same camera layout like the current iPhone 11. It will be a dual camera array with the main wide angle lens and the ultra wide lens. When it comes to the camera array of iPhone 12 Pro and Pro Max, we will be seeing the same camera layout just like the 11 Pro series with a main wide angle lens, ultra wide lens and 2x telephoto lens. Along with that, we will also be getting the LiDAR scanner on at least the iPhone 12 Pro Max model. This has been confirmed by multiple reliable sources. One bad thing when it comes to the camera array of iPhone 12 and 12 Pro Max is the layout. It was rumored that we will have LiDAR scanner on the bottom right of the camera array. It makes sense to now have this square camera array with 4 lenses and flash in the center. It looked stunning and in my opinion, it was the best camera layout of the current flagships. Unfortunately, this layout is not happening and the layout will be similar to iPhone 12 Pro layout. The LiDAR scanner will be added on the bottom right and will be replacing the current position of the microphone. While this camera array will have great functionality, it definitely does not look as good as the rumored one. One good news when it comes to camera is that along with the annual updates, we will be getting some new features this year. As per leaks from multiple reliable sources, we will be getting a 4K 120 and 4K 240 frame per second slow motion on the iPhone 12 Pros at least. Not only that, a dedicated night mode for the ultra wide lens is also expected this year. Some unconfirmed reports also claim that we will be seeing video bokeh on this year's iPhone as well. Before starting with the display of this year's iPhone, let's talk about the sides. For the bottom, sadly we will not be seeing USB-C on this year's iPhone. We will again have the same lightning port along with speakers which should be getting slightly better just like every year. On the left side we will have the power button and there was this weird smart connector thing towards the lower side in the CAD files. It was first speculated to be there for the Apple Pencil as Apple is expected to bring Apple Pencil support to the iPhones. 
As per all the latest reports, it is not a connector, it is just a 5G antenna. On the right side, we will have the same volume buttons and also a ring silent switch. The switch this year will be changing and instead of the current horizontal switch, it will be an up and down switch just like the older iPads. Now let's talk about the front of this year's iPhone 12 lineup. One of the most depressing things about this year's iPhone 12 is that the notch will remain the same. It will be the same big notch just like on the original iPhone 10. This notch will be housing the selfie camera and also the face ID sensors. The notch on iPhone 12 mini is expected to be slightly narrower. On all the other models, the notch will remain the same, but you might get the illusion that it has got slightly smaller. That is because the side bezels of this year's iPhone will be shrinking. The worst news for me personally is the fact that we won't be seeing 120Hz ProMotion display on this year's iPhone. It is as heartbreaking as it sounds. With Android phones now having 90Hz displays and even some phones with 144Hz display, it will be sad to see that iPhone 12 lineup will only have 60Hz display. While for the average user this might not be a big deal, this is definitely disappointing. It is safe to assume that this year's MKBHD smartphone of the year won't be an iPhone due to the absence of ProMotion display. Makes sense. While the absence of 120Hz display is a very disappointing news, there are some good news when it comes to the displays of this year's iPhone 12 lineup. This will be the first year that we will be seeing an OLED display on all the newly announced iPhones. Yes, you have heard that right. All the non-pro iPhones including iPhone 12 mini and iPhone 12 will also have an OLED display. While it definitely does not make up for the absence of ProMotion display, it is definitely good as you will now have brighter colors and deeper blacks. In more good news, all the newly announced iPhones will support 5G. The non-pro iPhones will only support sub-6 5G, whereas the pro models will support sub-6 and also millimeter wave 5G. 5G itself is not a reason for you to choose a phone, but it is good to know that new iPhones will support 5G. Now let's talk about the specs of this year's iPhone 12 series. The non-pro iPhone 12 models will be equipped with 4 gigs of RAM, whereas the pro models are expected to be equipped with 6 gigs of RAM. When it comes to the base storage, we should be seeing an improvement there as well. The base storage this year is expected to be 128 gigs as compared to the current 64 gigs. The processor in this year's iPhone will be the A14 Bionic, which is the latest and greatest from Apple. It is going to be the first 5 nanometer processor in an iPhone. A14 Bionic will have moderate gains in the GPU and CPU performance as compared to the A13. The main focus of A14 Bionic is efficiency and battery consumption. Apple is so confident in the efficiency and battery consumptions of A14 that this year's iPhone will have a slightly smaller battery capacity. It is definitely disappointing to see that the battery will be getting smaller. The only thing we can hope for is that A14 makes up for the difference. If the battery performance on the iPhone 12 series does not improve, it should at least remain the same as the current iPhone 11 series. As per rankings from PhoneBuff, iPhone 11 Pro has the best battery life of any current smartphone. So if the battery life remains the same, that should be pretty incredible. We will have to wait and see the results for ourselves when the phones get announced. Another surprising change happening internally is the addition of a magnetic ring in the chassis. This is supposedly happening to align the phone perfectly on a wireless charger that Apple will be launching later this year. More details are still to come, but it seems that magnets are happening. Another feature that is rumored but not confirmed by reliable sources is reverse wireless charging. This feature has been in Samsung devices for a couple of years now and we are still to see something similar from Apple. Before talking about the price, let's talk about what we will be getting inside the box this year. First of all, we will not be getting the power brick inside the box, just like Apple announced for their Apple Watch Series 6. According to some leaks, we may not even get wired earphones. It will just be the cable and phone along with the paperwork. This will ultimately mean that we will have smaller and thinner iPhone 12 boxes. As far as cable is concerned, it has been leaked online. We will be getting a braided cable inside the box, at least for the Pro models. It not only looks great, it should last longer and should be more durable. As far as prices are concerned, we have a couple of conflicting reports. According to the more optimistic and positive report, the prices of the Pro models will be the same, that is $999 for 12 Pro and $1099 for Pro Max. iPhone 12 mini will start for $649, which is $50 less than iPhone 11.
The regular iPhone 12 will be $750. This makes perfect sense, especially with iPhone SE in the lineup and probably iPhone 11 being continued for $500 or maybe $550. On the other hand, according to other pricing leaks, the iPhones will be getting $50 expensive even with less things shipped inside the box. So in the worst case scenario, we will have iPhone 12s being sold for $50 more than the current iPhone 11 series. This is something which I personally do not see happening, especially with the ongoing pandemic. One last thing that I need to mention is regarding the event itself. As per reports, this event will be one hour event, just like the iPad Air and Apple Watch Series 6 event. We will only see the announcement for iPhone 12s in this event. According to leaks, another event will be happening in November. That particular event will be focused on all other hardware expected from Apple this year, including the first ARM-based Mac. That is all we know so far from all the leakers and the analysts. With the announcement expected only a couple of weeks from now on October 13th and the pre-order started from October 16th, I personally do not see any major changes happening. If there is something, we will definitely update on our social media, so make sure you follow us there. That is all for today. Hopefully you liked the video. If you did, a thumbs up would be nice. We will catch you in the next one. Until next time, over and out.